Just visit the new CalgaryHerald.com with more of everything worth knowing. Albertans, you think would, would definitely shoot that down? I mean, is that is that something you, you think they wouldn't have any appetite for? Well, I certainly wouldn't have any appetite for. I think one of the things that makes us attractive, particularly for tourism, is that we don't have that tax. I mean, there are many things to look at if we were going to go in that direction. And I think today Alberta is a bit of a, um, a mecca because we don't have that tax. Even if you go and buy something somewhere else in another country, in another province, and you're paying that tax, you realize how lucky we are to be here and not pay it. If it ever came to that, was it actually binding a referendum? When you talk about a referendum, it's not necessarily a plebiscite, but if it was a referendum, is, would that be binding on government? Would government do what the public said? I think, oh, absolutely. You don't ask the public a question and then say, oh, well, I think we're wiser than you are. The Honourable Minister of Finance and Enterprise. This What do you tell fiscal conservatives who obviously there's some who are upset with how much the government's still spending and wish she would cut more instead of tapping into the savings? What's your message to them? Well, I would remind them that we're spending from our sustainability fund, which is a savings account for a rainy day. It's raining, we're spending it. We're going to spend it in a wise fashion, prudently measuring it out so that we can make it last as long as possible. And we'll monitor very carefully what's happening in the economy, what's happening with our our uh, uh, commodity prices, what's happening in the markets, and hopefully make sure that over the next two to three years we don't exhaust that supply. There's $17 billion there. We want to be very careful to make sure that we're balancing our needs, but also we've got an eye on the future of what that fund looks like. One of the issues uh, that people really identify with the budget when they just kind of get past the basic numbers are the pocketbook issues, particularly the, the sin taxes. Pe people's, the price for alcohol is going to go up, the price for, for cigarettes is going to go up. Uh, what would your message be to them on why, why you're increasing those, some of those taxes at a time when we're heading into recession and people are struggling with, with just their basic finances? I guess I would point out that those are non-essentials. Uh, clearly in the tobacco uh, strategy it's always been felt that we, in taxing that, we do reduce the consumption of tobacco, so that's a positive. I can't tell you whether or not that's the case exactly with alcohol. I've seen no study on that. But because it's a non-essential, because our, our obligation is to fund essentials, I think that that's part of it. Now, as a finance minister, first first deficit in, in 16 years, how difficult is that for you, having gone through, the, through that client, well, part of the client revolution, to get, pay down that debt? I, make that big uh, symbolic statement, now it'd have to go back into, into red ink. It's, it's very difficult, even though it's a savings that you've made to cover that eventuality. Any time you have to spend when you have hoped to save, very, very difficult. So yes, it's tough. And I think that the good part this time when we're doing this is that we're not going out and borrowing from financial institutions and subject to the interest that other people might be paying in other provinces. I mean, every place else in Canada, they're going out and borrowing from financial institutions. Here, in a manner of speaking, we're spending from our savings, so we're losing interest. Um, it makes, it softens the blow, but it's still a blow. I mean, Albertans have had a lot of pride in having those special savings over and above everybody else. And maybe uh, maybe it's time to um, pause and reflect a little more on how we're spending the money. And I think that that's what we tried to do in this budget.